Look, I know we joke about it all the time, but we are so back. Marvel Studios just announced a ton of different things at CinemaCon, and we're gonna break all of it down. Before we do that, at 1100 subs, I'm giving away X-Men 200, the Trial of Magneto comic book, which actually appeared in the X-Men 97 show. So if you wanna win this, all you gotta do is like, subscribe, and at 1100, I'm giving it away. Now let's dive right into this, starting off with Deadpool and Wolverine. Kevin Feige came out and talked about this movie and actually was using curse words, dropping F-bombs, because this movie is R-rated. And apparently this segment of the show got the most laughs out of everything from CinemaCon, so people are very excited about this film, and I'm going to tell you why now. We get a PSA from Deadpool and Wolverine telling us to turn our phones off, and them going back and forth, and how Deadpool acknowledges that Wolverine just broke the fourth wall, but this isn't really connected to what's about to be shown. It's just a funny preview, and people loved it. People in attendance got to watch nine whole minutes of Deadpool and Wolverine? That is a lot of movie, in my opinion, and while I don't want to go into too much of the spoilers of what goes on, a lot of it does really resemble what goes on in the trailers so not really too many things to spoil which is a good thing still I think nine minutes is a long time to show a preview of a movie like this I am going to dive into the nine minutes that was shown but remember a lot of this stuff is things that we've already seen from the trailer with a couple little new things Deadpool is apparently working as a used car salesman you know having a midlife crisis and then goes to a surprise birthday party where the TVA shows up and then he gets brought to the TVA Deadpool gets shown something about the sacred timeline so I'm wondering here now does this take place before for Loki season two? Or are we going to see events kind of split off between one and two or after two and things like that? But he's brought into the TVA being told that he needs to save the sacred timeline. And then he's shown a bunch of things from Marvel movies. We even see Thor hold Deadpool at one moment. And then we end these nine minutes with Deadpool and Wolverine traveling together in a car where Deadpool is being so annoying to Wolverine and Wolverine tells him to shut the F up. Man, I'm just so freaking excited for this movie. It being rated R is a huge deal in my opinion. There were plenty of fourth wall breaks talking about Fox and Disney in these nine minutes that were shown, so I'm just ready to see all of it. And apparently they're not holding back on the comedy, which is great because that's what kind of Deadpool is kind of about. The crowd loved it. Marvel Studios seems to be extremely excited with how this project turned out. After this, they went to the Fantastic Four. Now, while I didn't say too much about the Fantastic Four, we know that the movie is going to start shooting in the next couple months, and it's going to be shot for IMAX. I don't know if this means it's going to be shot entirely in IMAX, but they did say that this was going to be shot with IMAX in mind. Very very cool stuff. I just saw the new Civil War movie in IMAX and I love that format. They just need to put recliners in those theaters. They don't have it at the one I'm at. After the Fantastic Four, they went to talk about the Thunderbolts and Thunderbolts title was shown with an asterisk to its side. And Kevin Feige says that that asterisk on the title is there for a reason. Now what this is, it won't become clear until after the movie comes out. So I'm wondering if there's some sort of joke in the movie or they call themselves this for a placeholder name. I've seen suggestions that this is actually going to be the Dark Avengers eventually so maybe this is a temporary name for them. We do know that this film is being shot right now. Florence Pugh actually released some behind the scenes footage. Remember, she's returning as Yelena Belova and there were a couple Easter eggs in this clip, but apparently it was confirmed that the title of this movie will have that asterisk on the end that appeared in the clips that Florence Pugh shared. Down in the comments, let me know what you think this is all about. This is very weird, very different from Marvel. I read every single comment. I most likely will respond. So anything in this video that you want to chat about, leave something down below. I also forgot to turn the TV on. You guys freaking didn't tell me. And it's actually funny, I have the animated Secret Wars playing right behind me and in the Deadpool and Wolverine preview that people got to see, allegedly Deadpool says something along the lines of, I hear in Secret Wars they're going to finally bring blank and then he gets cut off by a phone ring or something. So maybe that's Doctor Doom, maybe that's a different character we haven't seen yet but people are really excited for. I personally do think it is Doctor Doom. Like I said, Deadpool and Wolverine is by far my most hyped project for Marvel Studios but the news regarding Captain America New World Order is just as exciting in my opinion. We know that this movie has kind of been in a development hell cycle with reshoots and reshoots happening and rewrites, taking things out, putting things back in and stuff like that. But the response from CinemaCon shows that this movie has good potential and actually is going to mirror kind of the feel and themes of the Winter Soldier. It really does feel like Marvel Studios is leaning towards the more mature audience and I'm all here for it. In the clip that was shown at CinemaCon, we see Thunderbolt Ross now played by Harrison Ford talking to Anthony Mackie's Captain America. They acknowledge that Ross looks different he doesn't have a mustache anymore and we also see Captain America fight against several Secret Service agents being mind controlled or something. It's looking very likely that characters from Falcon and the Winter Soldier will be returning in this movie, in particular Isaiah Bradley. Isaiah Bradley was another Captain America and if you haven't watched Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I highly recommend it. It seems like it's going to be pretty important for this film. We know that the Red Hulk is going to be one of the main antagonists in this film due to Thunderbolt Ross playing the main role, possibly even the President of the United States. 
States. And I'm really just looking forward to seeing Anthony Mackie again as Captain America. I mean, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, in my opinion, is so underrated and it's been way too long since we've seen him. Overall, it looks like Marvel Studios just came out swinging with CinemaCon, with these clips, announcements, and press was digging all of it. This is a big win that I'm sure Marvel Studios is appreciating, and I appreciate the fact that they're going back, changing things that didn't work for them in the past couple years, and appealing to a more mature audience with projects with the TVMA ratings such as Echo and Daredevil, and these mature films such as the first rated R MCU film Deadpool and Wolverine, and of course Captain America A New World Order. And the best part is, this is only a couple of projects. Marvel Studios has so many other things in the works that we haven't even talked about in this video, and I'm sure we're going to be getting news on that very soon, as well as another trailer hopefully for Deadpool and Wolverine within this month or the next month. It's so close, all the merchandise and all of the advertisements seem to be leaking in regards to Wolverine's costume. I'm not going to show it here, but you can find it anywhere and I promise you it looks insane in the best way possible. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, leave a like at 1100 subs. I'm doing that giveaway for X-Men 200. And with that being said, I will see you all very, very soon.